Hi, I'm Craig Cogger, soil scientist at Washington State University Puyallup, and we are at the Low Impact Development Research Site here at WSU Puyallup. In the next three minutes, I'm going to show you almost all you'll ever need to learn about soil physics. And we're going to use a sponge as our model for the soil. I have a sponge that I've saturated with water. So the sponge that was saturated with water, I lift it up and water drains from the sponge. Um, and no one at all is surprised about that. We know that the water is draining through the pores in the sponge. You can actually see the pores empty out as it drains. And we know that the water is moving by gravity through the sponge. We also know that within a minute or two, the water will stop dripping. So the question is, the sponge is still there, the pores are still there, the water is still there, gravity is still there, and why does the sponge stop dripping? The reason is, is that the water is held in the pores by surface tension. We can also call that capillary forces. Chemists call it hydrogen bonding. And what it means is that the water molecules are sticky. They stick to each other a little bit. They don't feel sticky to us, but they stick to the walls of the pores of the sponge, just as they stick to the particles in the soil. And they also stick to each other. So where we have small pores in the sponge, the water is sticky enough that gravity can't pull it out. Where we have large pores in the sponge, gravity takes over and the water drains from the sponge. The same thing happens in the soil. The large pores or the macro pores control the infiltration of water into the soil and the drainage of excess water out of the soil. The small pores or the capillary pores control the water holding capacity. So how can we remove more water from the sponge? You know, we know that we can simply squeeze it. In, if we wanted to use scientific jargon, we would call this biophysical action. Now plants also have a biophysical way to remove water from the, that's held in those capillary pores in the soil. We call that transpiration. The roots of the plants are in the moist soil, the leaves are in the dry atmosphere, and there's a gradient, and the plants are able to use energy to pull water across that gradient against the force of gravity, against those capillary forces, and use water to their own, to their own benefit. We call this transpiration, and it's the way that plants can obtain water from those small pores in the soil. Now, no matter how hard I squeeze, I cannot remove all the water from the soil. And it's not just because I'm a skinny old guy. Even young, strong guys cannot remove all the water from the sponge. The same is true that plants cannot remove all the water from the soil. Um, there's some water that's held so tightly in the pores that it's unavailable to plants. Soils that have a lot of clay, soils that are highly compacted, are going to have larger amounts of that unavailable water.